So when I was a drill instructor uh, during 95 through 97, I was uh, a young sergeant down at MCRD San Diego. Uh, and I get a phone call uh, from my family back home in Guam saying that my grandmother was not doing well and that I needed to come home. Uh, we got held up in Hawaii uh, due to aircraft uh, troubles. So we stayed there. Uh, that next morning, I get a phone call from my brother and tell me that, that my grandmother passed. Uh, so I didn't have an opportunity to make it home to say goodbye uh, to my grandmother. So fast forward to uh, the funeral. And uh, we have probably about four or five pews deep of generations from my grandmother. And it's raining. It's raining really, really hard that day. And it's not uncommon for Guam, uh, but that day it was raining extremely hard. And my Uncle Joe uh, was doing, giving the eulogy. He stops and he says, you know, it's only fitting. It's raining today. If it wasn't for the rain, none of us would be here. Then he flashes back to when uh, the Japanese occupied Guam during World War II. So at this point, my grandmother was, uh, was young and she was pregnant with my aunt. She was the oldest. Uh, and my grandmother was being lined up to be executed by the Japanese soldiers um, for reasons we don't know. Uh, she was lined up to be executed. That day, when she was lined up to be executed, it was raining hard. And the Japanese soldiers called off the execution. A week, a week later, the Marines liberated Guam. So I look back at that story and it reminds me of why I serve. It gives me an opportunity to give back to a division that gave so much to me and to the people of Guam. So I may be sitting here today you know, as a, as a Marine, but to be sitting here as a division sergeant major for the division that liberated my island, I just swell with pride.